Hi, everybody. This is Shannon with Chic and Sassy Meals by Shannon. I am just going to sit down and do my conference mani. So these are the colors I ended up going with. Um, I'm going to use the... This is Seattle Royale. It's kind of a sheer strip, so I'm going to use it as an underlay for two of my nails, my accent nails. So, and I'm going to do... So I think I'm going to do solid colors on three nails with an accent nail with all four of these colors. And then I'm planning on doing my toes in this, so which is going to be a separate video if I can figure out how to record it. So I prepped my nails and took off my polish and did all that stuff yesterday. Um, and I hope to actually make a video from that. But So I'm going to open up these sets and get going. I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly because I still need to pack. So it is conference time. I am going to fly out tomorrow. This is the first time I am flying out. Um, this is the first time I am flying, period, by myself. I've never flown by myself before. Um, I am rooming with somebody else on my upline team but other than that I have well I have two gals that are coming with from my that are on my team and they're from Canada I've never met them in person so that'll be fun oops sorry about that and um besides that and then I have my people that I've met prior um at other conferences or team events so I went to conference in 2019 so I did meet some people there some of my upline and sideline sisters so I'm gonna, I'm hoping this is just gonna be coral enough to kind of to work as an in my negative space well I guess it won't be negative space because it'll have these sets on it but I'm gonna try to do I wanted a little coral coral aspect to this Manny because I'm wearing a lot of coral this weekend so I'm doing blue and coral and I'm gonna, I decided that I'm gonna do my ring finger and my middle finger as my accent nails I've been doing that lately um not sure why I switched because I used to do um different like I would do it differently but I don't know I kind of switched so we are gonna stick with that let's see I don't know if I need to warm up my fingers a little bit but anyway so conference what's gonna happen is so I'm flying out tomorrow afternoon hopefully knock on wood the flights will be everything will be on time and then we have, I think I can, all we have tomorrow night is like registration. So, um, I don't know about, I don't think I have any other plans for tomorrow. Um, but checking in, getting my hotel, hopefully getting to the hotel, I'm going to take the light rail to the hotel because it's way cheaper and doesn't seem that hard so we're gonna do that so that'll be an adventure and then uh, Friday morning bright and early well nine bright and early for me I have my first meetings we have some leadership meetings and we'll have a leader lunch and then I'll have a break and then I'm meeting some of my teammates, two, my two teammates that from Canada. We're meeting for dinner. I'm going to warm that up a little bit. That one was a little needing to be warmed up. So I think I'm going to, I don't usually keep my nails this long. I usually cut them when they get to this point. So I'm going to keep them longer for conference. And then I will, um, I will trim them when we get back I am sure because I do not like actually keeping my nails very long so and then on 
Friday night. We have a break. We're doing dinner. We're going to do an early dinner to hopefully get to pretty much go wait in line to get into conf the first session is Friday night at 7 o'clock. Oh, it's 7 o'clock their time. So it's 9 o'clock central. Because there's a two hour time difference, I think. Yes, there's a two hour time difference because they do not observe daylight savings time. So two hour time difference, I forgot about that. So seven on Friday is the first session. So Friday night, if they tell us anything, I can't remember. I feel like last year when it was virtual, I did virtual conference. I did not go in person last year. I, f I believe they showed us fall and stuff on Friday and didn't wait. But I know on in 2019, it was a diff it wasn't the first day. So I don't know what they're going to do because I, they don't really tell us that. So, um, that one was a little short, but that's the problem with me keeping my nails long is that it doesn't cover the little tip. The very tip of this nail didn't get covered with strip, but I don't care because this is only going to show in the middle. My idea is to cover the outside part or the tip and the bottom with other colors. We're going to do some curvy I want some curves here, which I forgot to grab. I always use my, I trace up, I like to trace a quarter. I'm pretty sure I could trace, uh, you could also use the end of this. That would work too, but I'm going to trace a quarter because that's what I usually do. So how I want to do it, I'm going to do road, uh, not road recovery. That's the red. This is um, Renew Hope. Yes which was gifted to me by the awesome Marie Haskins. So thank you for giving me that. Um, all right, I need my thumbs, my index, and a pinky. Do I have a pinky left there? Let's see, which one's hotter here? We're gonna put this under here just to warm these up a little bit. Maybe I'll do these on my toes. No, I was gonna do a world, um, a world to see on my toes. I was gonna do white glitter on my toes, and then I decided to to do um, a world to see instead. So, which I think would be pretty. I am gonna attempt to do a petty video. It's a little awkward with recording and sitting and trying to do, trying to reach to do the, um, to record doing my toes. So it's like awkward. So hopefully, oh, I got two here. I didn't realize I had two when I grabbed these. I shouldn't need to. Hold on. Let me put this back. All right. So let me see. So that's Friday. So first session is at 7. They go from 7 to 9. And they told me that's Pacific time. And then um, Saturday morning we have a 9 o'clock session. And then, in the, and then after that we have morning classes. And then we have lunch and then I think we have a break because everybody needs to change and get ready and we have then an evening session and like a they call it a purple carpet so like the red carpet but it's purple for our semi-formal night we have a sit-down dinner and a dance so that'll be fun and then it will be Sunday, and Sunday morning we have another session at 9 a.m. to 11, and then we are done. And I have to find my, well, i got to figure out what to do. 
and then I don't have to be at the airport. I gotta look. I have an evening flight, but I think it's like at five. So probably by the time I... Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna work it. I'm sure I have to check out of my hotel and take care of all that stuff. So, but maybe I'll explore downtown a little bit before I head to the airport. I know they have a pool, but I'm not, I'm probably not gonna partake in that. I'm not, well, we're not gonna have a ton of time, so. Some people are staying till Monday, but I wanted, there was a flight that was in the evening and I knew we were done by noon on Sunday, so I decided to just come home Sunday. Plus it's easier with the kiddos and the puppies. I had to tell my husband that he's not allowed to sell our dog, our new puppy, while well, well, I'm gone. Because he kind of drives him crazy. He was not prepared for the puppy stage. So, he gets, he gets a little impatient with the puppy. Alright, so I'm going to do, if I'm smart, I will stop and I won't do my thumb. <laughs> but... I don't remember that I, when I actually come time to not do it because I'll, oh, I'm going to need, I got to figure out how I'm doing this too. So I got this far in my head and then I don't exactly know how I want to execute. I might need another strip here. How I want to execute the exit nails. I guess it's not very sheer when I don't have something under it because so when you mix it with another color it looks a little different so There's also a small chance that that's not the right set because I don't have it labeled, but I'm pretty sure that's Seattle Royale. Because <laughs> I don't think I've opened the other corals that... I gotta see. I don't think this is going to be long enough. It totally is not going to be long enough. All right. So, let me grab another strip out of here. Let's see. And then if I'm smart, I'd save that. Actually, if I'm smart, I will use that now before it dries out. But, hmm, let me see here. I'm actually going to try to stick this back down here so I can cut it. Let's see. All right, let's put that back here. And we're going to put that there for a minute. I'm not going to use it now, although I want that to warm up for a second. I'm going to warm my hands up again. I really need to, like, I feel like the air conditioning is always blowing when I'm. When I'm doing my nails, so. So I'm trying to decide how I want this to work. Yeah, we're gonna. Ad lib here. Which is how I roll. 
like I said, I have an idea in my head. So I'm going to try to execute that for the accent now. So let's finish this solid strip. Well, it's not solid, but this one. All right, let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to try to save the other half of this like I did the other one, and then I'll use that. I'm going to need to get one more strip, but I'll just start one at a time here. All right, so I'm going to rotate this and try to put it back on close enough. I guess it doesn't need to be perfect. Ooh, it's sticky. Okay. Let's keep that there for safekeeping. I'm going to need one more strip to get all these done, but that is such a pretty blue. I'm doing complementary colors with the blue and the orange. My nails are long, and I don't like that I can't get two nails done with one strip. Plus, my nails get really curvy as they grow out, and it bugs me. So, and then it hurts more when I clip them, because they're super curvy this way. Like these ones. These ones are flatter, but they just curl, and I don't like it. All right. Okay, so I got my blues. I'm going to put solid blue on my thumb. So I think I'm going to start with blue. The, the Keep the orange. Do a little thin line of the light blue. Wait, maybe I should go this way. Okay, I'm going to go, no, I'm going to go, I don't know which way I'm going to curve it. <laughs> I should probably figure that out. All right, let me, okay, let me get my little cutting mat. I'm going to find my quarter. So I need to make a curvy angle. of some sort. What is this? Is this a pencil? No. Where do I have a pencil? Here. Okay. That did not work. Okay, that pencil doesn't work because it just pushes it down. Alright, this one works. So I think this is going to be too high. It's going to come up. And I think I want the curve the other way. Trying to decide which way I want this to go. Hmm, maybe I want to do a slant. <laughs> maybe I'll go simple and not do the curve. Although I kind of want the curve look, so let me do. God, I can't decide which way I want my curve. I want to do it this way, and this, and that, or if I just do angles. Alright, I think I'm going to do 
Maybe I'll do that instead. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I said, I didn't plan this out. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of this blue. Yeah, we'll just try it. Oh, this should come off easy because I didn't have it. It was already off. That'd be the kicker if I put it on the wrong on the wrong way. If you've ever put the paper on the wrong end on the wrong side of the um, paper backing, you will know that you cannot get it off. It has to be on the glossy side in order to get it back off if you use the anchor technique or anything like that. So I'm gonna try to let's see here. Eh can't reach. See I I wanted to go oh, oh there duh do it this way. Bend my finger. All right, let's line this up here. Okay. All right, let's try that. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to how am I gonna do that? Do I want can I do the same thing? Can I replicate if I do this? Will I be able to replicate it here? I have no idea. It's like, hold on, let's take, the strip is kind of stretched. So I don't know if it's gonna work quite as well, but we're gonna kind of curve. I'm just going to flatten that curve a little bit and see if I do how high does that go up? Alright, let's see if I do something similar. Here, I should just trace this little piece, shouldn't I? I traced it on the end. Okay, let's see if I can just trace this very similar little curve here. Oops. To be close enough to that. Okay, that's going to be close enough. I'm going to try to fix that a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if that'll work. try to use the other little end of the strip to do the other side of my, my other hand. Okay, so... How did I do that wrong? Why is that off? Oh, because I see. 
Is it gonna work? It's like the wrong part of all of excess. Let's see here if I can get it to kind of line up and then I'll just trim off because it's a little wider than the other one was. So let me line up and then I'll just trim any excess. Because really I just need the curve part. Maybe I should have moved it up more. Can I fix this? Uh, let's see if I can adjust it or not. Alright, I'll try that. That's pretty good. Pretty good to the of the same. Where's my little wood cuticle stick here? All right, so let's trim the edge. It'd be nice if I use the right end. And okay, so sorry. Now I'm all focused on the the accent nails here. So oopsie. Let's see if I can fix that. The one tricky part is cleaning off the edges and not ripping the strip where you don't want it to rip. Okay. Looks like I have a little bit over the cuticle, so... But let's see if I just push my cuticle back, would that work? This will be fine. It's gonna bug well, it's gonna bug me. It's just like the teeniest, tiniest bit over my cuticle. I keep ripping. That one part is gonna just rip unevenly and then I'll be sad. Oh well. Maybe I'll just make them both a little shorter. Alright, good enough. Okay. So, they look pretty much the same. Okay. So now, how do I do that in reverse? Do I want it? I'd like it to go the opposite way. So my brain should be like this. Let's see if my brain can think like that. Where is my strip? Oh, it is at the end. Okay, good. Checking that seems important. I don't know how much actually I used. doesn't have to be exactly the same. I could have, oh, I threw the little end. Where is it in here? Sorry, I'm taking this out of the little, let's see if we can, I should have just used that in the first place. It's the eyeballing it. Okay. So I'm flipping it upside down, so the glossy side is facing me this time, so I can do the opposite curve. Hey, that was actually really good when I eyeballed. Really, in reality, it probably would have been fine, because it was really close to the same. <laughs> All right. 
that's funny. All right, where did I put these? Sorry, this one's a little tedious, these little accents. Then you always hope that you like it how much with how much time you spend on it, and then you always have to hope you like how it turns out, right? Because that doesn't always happen. I don't know if I... Close-ish enough, good enough. Mm, I kind of laid that down, it's not perfect. That's right, good enough. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. I need to round the end. I should use, I cut all of those. If I just use this to round the end, it's close enough. Close enough to the real shape. just to get a rough curve that's similar. And then flip it over, put this down, and then trace that again. All right, so then I'm going to, okay, let's line this up as close as I can. A tiny little template, pencil, oops. Sorry, my nail was in the way. Something like that. Close enough. Let's see. Oh, I didn't check if I was actually getting strip. Oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> didn't check the other side to see if the strip was all the way up that far. Because it was just the half of the other, that other half of the nail that I didn't use. Which worked out well, but oh wait, how did I do this? How did I do this? I need to move this up a little bit. Okay, sorry. I cut that one backwards, didn't I? That's okay. It'll work out. Because I will do this, and then I will just clean up the edges as needed. Maybe I won't even need to clean up the edges. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Good enough. So, I want the other one... So I have this like grand idea, but now I don't know. <laughs> so I wanted to do like, oh, I can't remember who shared the nail fee. I had done a, the same Might have been Karen who shared a video or a nail fee, like an inspiration nail fee, and it had the three different colors. Now I can't remember, I'll have to look. But their current Manny had the three colors. It's I kind of want to do that where it's like almost curved triangles, but. I want to actually do it with, I want a thin strip of, so I want a thin strip of the light blue 
and then I want to do the tips with the dark. Um, so this is a world to see and this is deep water opal. So I want to do basically it'll look like a thin line. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to figure it out. I will figure out how to do it and I will totally. We're just going to. All right, I'm going to dump these little skin. Maybe I won't because that's on my last one. Okay, so how I want to do it, I have to figure out. So that's the tricky part is figuring out how to exit what's in my brain. Isn't that like totally the, the trick? Okay. All right, I need at least those two. I'm gonna take those two. I wanna leave my, see look at this, is perfect amount to do my toes with. All right. Let's get that warmed up. Oh, this is not warm anymore. Oh, well. All right, let's just do this then. Let's take this one. Let's try to figure out how I want to cut it. Actually, I don't want to cut it. I'm just going to use the curve of the strip. Oh, I'll do that. Okay. That's not cheating. That is definitely taking advantage of what we have to work with. I don't have to cut it. I'm going to keep the curve of the strip because I want a different curve. I just want it to be... Uh, maybe that's not going to work. This one is quite sticky, I do have to say. It's probably better to do... Maybe it's better to do edit. <sighs> I gotta figure out how I want it to be. That'll work. Mm. Oh, I'm ripping it. Do I take it off? Do I keep it here? Because it curves there. Actually, I'll keep it. I'm just going to use the same. I don't know. Like I said, we're kind of ad libbing here to try to figure out how to do this. Yeah, we'll just go for it. This is a sticky little strip. All right, hold on. It's sticking to my fingers. All right, there's a little bubble. And then I gotta trim that little part off. Okay. Tuck that 
under. Let that stay there. Where is this? All right. Sorry, I'm very focused on this little accent. I have a little tear there, but it's going to get covered up by deep water opal. We are just going to do the other finger the same way, even if that is not exactly how I envisioned it. It's going to be fine. I don't mind. I like it. And then... This is a little different because it's... I put it too far down. Let's see if I can actually take it up without ruining it. Okay. stretched out so maybe that'll take be at my advantage here to kind of get it like that sure yeah good enough I have no idea if I've been doing a good job keeping it in frame <laughs> uh, I apologize it is hard to focus on it's hard for me to focus on my idea in my brain and pay attention to the camera and I need to get better at that. But the more I know, the more I do this, the easier, the, it'll get easier. I'll figure out the whole setup and everything. And let me know if you, if it's better to just do this and not bother with showing my face when I do my video, my application videos, because it's not really necessary. Oh, I didn't really touch those ones where I was supposed to. Like that was touching. That's so far down. Oh, I can just kind of, I didn't realize I could just kind of curve it how I wanted it. I'll just stretch it. Oh, I should have figured that out earlier. Oh, well. I'll do that with sex, not the last one. So, like I said, like I was saying, let me know if you like it when I do the little picture-in-picture picture with, with me up in the corner talking to you, or if it's better just to show the nails, because I'm not really showing anything in the camera, I don't think that second thing so okay let's get in there and then I'm gonna do I don't know I hope I like this after like creating it in my brain so all right we need this strip we'll take those two I had, it's so funny, I was looking through my leftover strips, which are not in any order at all, they're just in a baggie, and they are, it's very chaotic, and I knew I had deep water opal, and I must have pulled it as I was finding things, but then I didn't remember pulling it at all, so I kept looking for it. And I was like, God, oh, I know I have that. And like, yeah, totally found it. I, seriously, I pulled a full set to use thinking I didn't have it anymore. And then I found it. So I'm going to do a tiny, I want just a tiny bit of that light color to show through. I don't know if anybody's going to like this, but that was my idea. I'm trying to come up with something and I'm not sure if I'm gonna like oops if 
I'm gonna like having this. This strip is old, I can tell. I'm not gonna like the light strip with it. Well, we will see. This strip is super thick and dried out, and I need to. I need to probably warm up my things. Oh, and it ripped. Because it's so thick and dried out. I'm gonna just trim all that off. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to live with it. I think I'm just gonna keep it because gonna bug me that that lighter color is showing through so how can I I will just have to trim I'm gonna trim that off so hold on this is super dry and thick and let's see if we can get that to not be so much like that uh oh I ruined the color underneath it. Dang it. I shouldn't have messed with it. I shouldn't have messed with it because now I ruined the one underneath. Oh, darn it. I like ripped that little piece underneath. And I made a little bump. All right, I gotta just let that be and try to fix it later. Hmm. Not loving this. This deep water opal is dried out and I did not, I need to warm up my, should warm up these bags, this flax bag. Super dry. All right, well. I wonder if I can take off this layer without ruining. I can't, it's gonna, it's not gonna let me. I definitely like this one better than the first one I did, but that's okay. I like grass. Eh. All right. I will have to fix all the little ends later because I can't cut that. It's like, oh, there. So I like, yeah, I think it's kind of fun. I kind of like it. It's going to be one of those things I'm probably going to like have to live with for a little bit and see if I like it, but it is what it is. I don't have time to do it again. Or I'm not going to take the time because I still need to pack. I need to make dinner tonight. And since I'm leaving tomorrow, it doesn't leave a whole lot of time. I just want a thin line. Here. Deep water opal is very thick and dried out. And unfortunately, my flax bag is no longer warm. And I don't have a good, oh, it ripped again. This one is ripping. 
in this corner too. It's gonna just rip and I'll just have to fix it. Okay. All right. It is what it is. I shall accept it. I think it's kind of funky looking. I like the colors together. I just don't know if the design is the best, but it's okay. So thick. Goodness. Sorry if I'm out of camera or out of frame. Do do do. Okay. Good enough. All right. All right. Let's do my thumbs. Get that done. done for now. I'm going to do my toe video, my pedicure video later. Because I think I need to sit on the couch. So I did my, so I did a, I can't remember if I did a video or if I just did a live. So maybe I did do another one, but we're going to do, they are the most awkward thing to record. And I have kind of gross feet. Like my, well, I have a gross scar that I don't like. All right, well, that's going to go. That is a gorgeous color, is that not? All right. I like it. Cool. Oh, I should clean that up. I'll, I'll clean that off. Um, I like it. And it is pretty much what I had in my mind. It didn't, I probably should have used a little quarter and not cheated and just put the strip on there and just had a slighter curve on the tips, but I kind of wanted it different, so it's fine. Live and learn. If I do it again, that's how I'll do it. It took so much more time. Okay, so... I am almost done with my conference, Manny. I will share what I can, when I can. Ah, that ripped a little chunk off. That's annoying because that's the end I like to use. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I am going to do something. I'm going to attach this back and I'm going to cut it straight if I can. I'm gonna flip it around. Ah! Okay, sorry. I'm gonna trim. I cut this little part off. I just need it more flat than. Man, that was crooked. Oh well. I think it should be okay. All right. I do this with my toes as I flatten the ends of the strips because they're straighter, especially if I'm not using a pedicure set. All right. And then I don't need the ends. I'm going to trim all that off. And I will use this so I don't ruin my thumb. All right. Well, if you stuck around, that's pretty much amazing. And otherwise, um, I will share pictures. And I will for sure share pictures at conference. So we are expecting to hear about more about the subscription boxes. We're expecting to hear about fall launch and see the fall sets. Uh, so I will take shots of the screen. Hopefully I can get a decent seat. 
And then, um, or I can wait, or I can share some from my team too. We have like a bunch of people going and everybody will share pictures. So, all right, this is my final conference, Manny. It's a little different for me, not my norm. And then I'm doing this light, a world to see on my toes. It makes it look very gray in this Manny, but hey, whatever. So it is what it is. I um, am going with it. So I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week. I will see you from conference. Take care.